This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says simplify x squared plus 4x plus 3 divided by x plus 1 times x squared minus 1 over x plus 3. So in other words, we're going to be multiplying these two rational expressions together. And again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, I recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper. All right, so the first thing you want to do in an effort to simplify this is to factor the numerator over here and to factor the numerator over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with x squared plus 4x plus 3. Again, if we can factor it, it's going to look like this. And again, I'm going to start to put everything in parentheses. Um, we're looking for two numbers that multiplied to 3 but add to 4. That's going to be... 1 times 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. So this is plus 1 plus 3. And uh, let's go ahead and factor x squared minus 1. Again, this is the difference of two perfect squares. So when we factor it, it's going to look like this. x plus 1, x minus 1. So this becomes x plus 1, x minus 1. Now, what are we really doing here? We're multiplying fractions that happen to have expressions in them. When you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. But that said, you can always cross reduce. I can cross out this x plus 3 here and this x plus 3 here. And I can cross out this x plus 1 here and this x plus 1 here. What does this leave me with? It leaves me with x plus 1 times x minus 1. And all we have to do to get our answer is to multiply this out using the FOIL method. So we're going to take x and multiply it here and here. And we're going to take 1 and multiply it here and here. x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. 1 times x is positive x. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative x and x cross out, so this becomes x squared minus 1. All right, so the answer to this one is D. Again, the purpose of this video is not to show you how to factor. I've covered that in other videos. Rather, it's to show you how to simplify this rational expression by cross-reducing and then finally multiplying things out at the end.